So Donald Trump may still be sued by Dominion. That is the company that has sued people like Rudy Giuliani and Sidney Powell and Mike Lindell. And most recently, as we covered, Fox News, usually first lawsuits ranging between $1.3 and $1.6 billion. But the big fish is still out there. And according to the company, Donald Trump is not safe. And will the former president be sued next by Dominion? Uh, we have not ruled out uh, any potential defendants who participated in this uh, in this defamation campaign against Dominion. But right now we're focused uh, today. We're focused on Fox, the preeminent uh, conservative media company in the country. Really, just Fox had an enormous reach and caused enormous damage to Dominion uh, through through this particular campaign. And that's who we're focused on today. Uh, Stephen, thank you very much for being here. And so that was on CNN. Brian Seltzer is asking the company lawyer, look, are you still considering suing the former president? And they basically said, while well, right now, today, the focus is on Fox News for the big media role they played, fundamentally, no one is off the table. And I think that's a sign that they're really looking at suing Trump. And they should. It doesn't make sense, frankly, that they haven't yet other than the fact that they're trying to think about it politically and tactically. Like, they don't need to sue him right away. It's not like they need to rush. There's no ticking clock, at least not in the short and medium term, that they have to worry about. But I wonder why you would leave Trump off the table. I get focusing on Fox News, right? Because Fox News is a big company. They got lots of money. Undeniably, they played a role like no individual can in promoting the misinformation and the disinformation, despite the fact that they knew better, despite the fact that some people at Fox knew better and others at Fox like Lou Dobbs and Maria Bartiromo and so many others continued to spread the big lies. But the fact of the matter is, it doesn't make sense why you would sue Powell and Lindell and Giuliani, but not Trump. Because let's be clear, Trump wasn't the only player here. Trump wasn't the only liar here. But if it wasn't for him, from the outset, even before the election, planting the seeds for the lie, it never would have grown, at least not nearly as much as it did. The fact of the matter is, only Donald Trump legitimizing and fueling and oxygenating these lies made them such a national movement. If Donald Trump would have came out on the night of the election or on the night when it was confirmed Joe Biden won, or even a day or two later, and said it was a close-fought election, I wish Joe Biden the best, he's going to do the best he can, and I will support him as best I can. You know, a traditional presidential concession speech, where you say, you know, I'm sorry to my supporters, I did my best, but let's all cheer on the next guy. There still would have been people like Powell and Lindell and all these folks spreading conspiracies and delusions and fantasies, 100%. But they never would have gotten the networks, the institutions behind them. Fox News likely doesn't jump on the conspiracy nearly as much unless Donald Trump and other top Republicans feed it. And other top Republicans don't feed it if Trump doesn't force them to out of fear of pissing off Donald Trump. So to me, Tr Trump spread the lies. Trump spread the big lies in general, and he spread them in particular about Dominion. So I think that if anyone is liable in a financial sense for harming this company as an individual, it's Donald Trump. And frankly, if you're going to sue Lindell and Powell and Giuliani for $1.2, $1.3 billion, whatever it is, Trump deserves to pay much more than that. And let's be clear, while Trump's wealth has declined recently, and a lot of people suspect he's not as rich as the man he plays on TV, the fact of the matter is, he's got a lot more money than Giuliani, Powell, and all these other people around him. He probably is the wealthiest person in that circle. And so if anybody can be wrung out for some cash as an individual, it's the former president from this group. He deserves to be sued fundamentally it doesn't matter that he was president before during and after that election he lied about it and he harmed a company in a process no man or woman is above the law and that includes donald trump